hold up. What's this? Here, hair, here. Dear, oh dear. What's all that about? Have a look. Ah, my man Coops has been a couple of months by the looks of it, and a beautiful wild hare. Fantastic. Great British game at its best. What to do? So, my game guru Coops, he shot me two hares, two monk jack deer. Now, he shot these late at night. It's still got its insides in. He bought them around really late. Now, traditionally, hares can be hung with their guts in for between five or 10 days. It all depends how you like your game. If you like it a strong flavor, leave the insides in. Also, leaving the insides in, if you're making that classic jugged hair, you will still have the blood in there, which I will show you in a moment. But what I need to do then is get the jacket and the insides out of this magnificent creature. Now, the head's already off. It was headshot, but it wasn't the prettiest looking thing. So, what we need to do then, first of all, I'm going to remove its legs. But just have a look at the size of that, eh? It really is an athlete. So basically, it is a big rabbit. So pretty much the same way. I'm gonna take its legs off with a chopper very quickly. Just like that. Then I am going to pinch a bit of fur up, just like you would a rabbit. And then just pull, really, just to get it started. And then it's a case of basically just getting your hand in. If you get stuck on the legs, just a knife in. Job is a good one. Loosen it and it all off. There's one leg. as you can see I'm pulling and using my thumbs just to roll it away basically because as soon as we're off these back legs we can pull it all in one go all the way off now I've come to the tail so I'm going to go through the tail And then in one, just undressing him. That was a hard part done. Okay, now's the fun part. Just picking up a little bit of the skin. So putting our knife in. Just using the tip, we don't want to catch the insides. As you can see, opening up through the sternum real quick. And we can start opening it up. So get your hands in and pull out the intestines. So, we need to clean out its back end. As you can see, there's still a bit of poo there. I mean, you can always tie that off if you want to. So we don't get it all over. Not necessary, really. But what we need to do then is to take it down to the legs. Now, what I like to do is I get my knife in straight down and then other side straight down just aim for in between the legs and then that allows you to pull the remaining waste out 
Like that. Hmm. Nice work if you can get it. Right, it's got some lovely fat around its kidneys. First thing I want to do is just trim that bit of funk off there. Very simple. Okay, now the kidneys. We take one. We take two. Look at that. And just peel them out. And with other. Then we delve into the engine room in a minute. But first, take the liver, then into the engine room, like I said, the heart. You can imagine how fast that beats to move this thing along. Then hands in, get its lungs out, two lungs. And if you can see in here, I'll open it up for you. This is where all the blood has collected. So if you can see in there, this is where all the blood is collected. So like I said, if you were making jugged hair, you will be collecting that up to thicken your sauce. Right, I'm gonna give this a quick wash and we'll break it down. So there we have it then. Jacket off, engine room out. Look how nice and clean that is there. Fantastic, it's a big old beastie. Next, we want to take our shoulders off. Now, it's no bone attaching this. It's just muscle, very simple. Just go down and there they are. Couldn't be easier. Again, if you look, stretch it, there is the natural seam with your hand. Get in there. Pretty much comes out on its own. Now, that will leave us with a fantastic loin to make a rack of hair, is what I'm fancying with this. But that's a bit later on. So I just want to take the remainder of the neck off. And then inside here, I just want to separate the best end from the loin end. So what I'm going to do is just in between the ribs, I'm leaving the last one on the loin, getting my knife. Like I said, that's going for rack of hair. So we'll put that there. Next, we want to take off the legs. Very simple, if you look naturally at it. One, two, following the V of the body. Snap out one, snap out two. You can see its pelvis there, you can see the ball joint, just gently take it off. And there's the other end. And then pretty much from there, so there is waist, so we could turn it over, mark it with our knife, if you've got the strength, through it. If not, use a saw. Then take out these dinky little fillets, ever so small. Really not worth bothering about. And then what we need to do is down the backbone, one side, take the one loin fillet off, equivalent to your sirloin. Very simple. And then repeat with the other side. And of course, all the bones, game stock. And the flap there pretty much pulls off. But for now, I'm going to put those in my bag. And we're left with the money shot. Look at that. Beautiful 
hair loin fillet. So I want to take the silver skin off. So I'm just going to start it in one corner and then moving the skin, not the meat. Silver skin removed. So again then, aiming for that corner, just slide it, keeping your knife flat, you won't go through it. And again, you watch me start this off there and then wiggle the skin, not the meat. Perfect. So we have two loin fillets, two wonderful haunches. Now what I'm gonna do just to finish these off is I'm just going to take off the shank, put that into stock, just looking for the natural bend through, that's for the stock pot, my shoulders, just give them a quick tidy up, so we've got our little bits of fillet, really are tiny, and we've got our shoulders. Now you can split those in half if you want to make jugged hair, but like I said, later on I want to be making a rack of hair so I can just trim off the skin, just exposing the ribs. And as you can see here, comes off so easily. just tracing down the ribs. Again, no meat is wasted or for stock. Okay, so there you have one hair butchered. Livers kidney and the art. Well my dear friends, there you have it, how to skin, gut and prepare a hair. And just have a look at the size of that leg. You know, it's pure, pure muscle and look how pronounced those muscles are that make that haunch hair. You could almost seen that out into primals. Absolutely fantastic. Then we've got our shoulders, for brazing, a nice slow braise, tiny little fillets, the engine room, kidneys, liver, my favourite, hair loin fillets, I mean these pan fried, they were some of the best game I've eaten, fantastic, and then this shoulder here which we've left on the bone, left the loin in to make those fantastic racks, and you can see how it's going to turn out, beautiful eye there, we'll trim it down to that bone there. French trim these bones, cut it in half, and you've got fantastic hair racks. So, if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, please click subscribe. You'll see my face come down here. Uh, do check out my back catalogue. I've got a vast back catalogue, 330 videos for you to trawl through. And uh, a lot of you ask me questions. Have you got this? Have you got that? Nine times out of ten, I have, and it's in the back catalogue. So be sure to check it out. Also on my social media, Facebook, Scott Ree and the Scott Ree Project. And on my Twitter, at Scott Ree Project. So until next time, when we get to play with this beautiful front end of hair. Take care, my friends. All the best.